I'd written a script for a video recounting personal experience. I'm not wearing a shirt. I'd written a script for a video a while back recounting personal experiences of uh, different ways to stick it to your corporate overlord. Well, the script sucked and I never filmed it. Lee Camp's Moment of Clarity number 46 brought all this to the forefront again. If you haven't already, go to his YouTube channel and subscribe. He's awesome. Also, since writing that script, I have experienced wage theft directly and tangibly. I found out recently that just about everybody that I work with qualifies or is currently on food stamps. There are people who are in their 60s who do not have health insurance who are being told when they go to the healthcare clinic that they go to that they should go and apply for food stamps to free up their grocery budget to pay for more advanced medical procedures that they should be getting. That is fucked up. The fact that corporations are finding any way that they possibly can to avoid paying their employees the very basic wage that they need just to stay alive. That is fucked up. It's also wage theft. But I'll also say that the best revenge is living well. Get back at your corporate overlords by being a better human being than they have it in their capacity to be. Their hearts are shaped like dollar signs and filled with dust and the tears of infants. Your heart is a heart-shaped heart and filled with love, which is probably part of the reason why you hate your job so much, because it requires you to take part in a system which is raping and killing the entire planet. If you hate your job, don't take it out on your customers. They probably don't want to shop at your shitty box store, but they have to because they have three kids and have a shit job that pays shit wages just like yours. If you work in fast food and you hate your job, don't spit in the food. Give food away for free. Give people more food than they ordered. Supersize everything without charging people for it. Take that, those little paper bags that you put the Happy Meals in. Fill that with three pounds of french fries and two apple pies. Give it away for free at random. If you work at Walmart and you hate your job, don't be a dick to the customers. They're poor people, just like you. Be super nice to people. Make sure that every day that you're manning the register, there's a clearance sale with 90% off everything in the electronics department. If you know the front-end manager's codes, these discounts don't even show up in accounting. But be sure not to discount anything from the impulse buy section because those do. If you work in a shitty mega box store on the floor doing stupid jobs that serve no purpose, make sure to do a really good job. Take your time. Sure, maybe the only thing that you get done all day is the first four feet of that shelf, but now all those tiny little bottles of nail polish are perfectly lined up with their SKU numbers. And isn't that what the management wants? You're just doing exactly what they wanted. If a customer interrupts you to try to find something in the store, Drop everything you're doing and go help them. In fact, take a scenic route. Make several deliberate laps around the store. It's good cardio for both you and the customer. Do you work for the military and had a, the sudden realization that all that honor and duty crap is bullshit, and in reality you're just killing brown people in oil-rich nations the world over, and that your function is just as an expendable pawn for transnational corporations? Well, stop complying with orders. Don't do anything, ever. Or maybe spend some time pretending that you're listening to Lady Gaga while making uh, copies of classified materials and then send it to WikiLeaks. I'm sure you've got more ideas. Post them in the comments below or send them to me at punkpatriot411 at gmail.com. I'll read the ones that I like best in a follow-up video. Anybody can do this. We are strong and there's more of us than they are of them. Throw a wrench in the gears. Stop going passively along like sheep to the slaughter. Stand your ground. You're a human being and you are powerful. Solidarity 2.0